I'm out here combining beans. It's the, uh, I think it's the 7th of October. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees and sunny, no wind, which is uh, 21 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees, 21. And I've combined, we've combined a third probably of the acres so far. And this is what the, the bean plant looks like. I missed this one, but and then the goal is to take all this material and get that uh, going to show up. The combine takes all that down, and what we'll end up with is that tiny little seed right there. That header on the front of the combine cuts it, draws it into the combine, and then. Uh, Chops up the residue afterwards. Got a fair amount in parts of this field of pigweed and lamb's quarter. Um, and a little bit I missed. So the price right now is about $20 per 60 pounds. So $20 per, what would that be? 25 kilos? It's a little more than a dollar, or a little less than a dollar a kilo is what I get on sales price. My pickup truck with a diesel tra transfer tank in it to, to fill this up with fuel is in the shop. There's something wrong with that transmission. So I lug five gallons at a time, 20 liters at a time. There's five 20 liter containers, five five gallons to fill up in there. The fuel tank on this, I think, takes 130 gallons. So I'm lugging this a couple times a day, which is up and down that ladder. I wanted to show this here, um, up in the clean grain hopper. So this is what... Uh, we're after. They're actually very dry. They're about 11%, uh, but um, I got some weed seeds in there. I'm not thrilled about, but I've been trying. I have the perforated screen on the clean grain cross auger in there. Hopefully it'll go out, but there's times when those weed seeds just, I think that's residue stuck but they accepted the sample down there. You can kind of see this is, uh, yeah, this is, I had, uh, this crud was in there from the first pass. And so there's chunks of it in the, in the tank, the grain tank. But there's a certain acceptable percentage. It's less than 1%. It's uh, pigweed and lamb's quarter seed. This black stuff, these black seeds. Um, my test weight, I, Dad just took a truckload down to Cashton. My test weight is about, I think it's 54 pounds, and a standard bushel is 60. Um, this was a weird year for growing. It was super wet in the spring, and then we didn't get any moisture, a whole lot of moisture, even in August when they were setting. So the yield is going to be on the low side of average. Um, here but um, I guess I could put a little more beans I'm starting to get toward the edge over there I don't really want to fill any more up and I'm waiting for the truck to come back basically a little more than two of these loads will fill up that truck so the truck will get back here about five o'clock in an hour and a half I'll dump this load in the truck and then I'll start combining until you know for an hour hour or two a couple hours and fill this back up and then dump that in the truck with the idea that tomorrow morning we'll take another load down to Cashton. There's a nice panorama, a nice um, view of, you can kind of see the field, all that down there, the diesel, the old van. Top of the van's a little dirty, you need to clean that off. Um, but you can see what we got left to do. This is 36 acres, this field here. And I've probably combined 
eight acres of it, maybe 10. So there's two, uh, 2.4 acres per hectare. Hectaria. So the grain bubbles up from the center there and just spills down to the side. Well, there's a nice view of the woods over there. There's a little creek. This is a little creek that runs, that bisects this field. Heads over to the west where the camera's pointing right now into the sun. And um, that creek will be 30 or maybe 50 feet wide, so 15 meters wide in the spring. Most of the year it's less than a meter wide, less than a yard wide. I see the various buildings here. Doesn't look like much, but each of those pieces has got a story. Me trying to, um, assembling all of this and maintaining it. It sure is nice out here right now, though. It's hard to imagine. When it gets cold here, there'll be a meter, it'll be a yard of snow, two or three feet of snow on everything, and it'll be 20 below zero. I can't believe the people who milk cows through all that in the winter. That's crazy. But yeah, it's hard to believe now. You kind of see the trees just starting to change color. It's been a really warm fall here. A little bit of orange in that tree. A little bit of orange and yellow in the tree over there in the distance behind the bin. So. Yeah, these are 1.2 relative maturity, my beans, because the season's so short here. I think I planted them uh, June 15th, June 7th, June 15th, probably. And man, did I thought I, th I thought I did such a great job of row cultivating and weeding these things. And then it's all the reeds, weeds in the row. Just uh, a little dispiriting. Um, that said, we get what we get, send it off, and uh, try again next year. Thanks for watching.